Hi guys, Glader here, and today I have a new video about the Fantasy Star Online Blue Burst custom or emulated client project. Over the past two days, I have spent my time building a PSO proxy that is able to proxy packets in between the original PSO BB client and a Tetella server. So, why did I build this? Well, it'll be a little bit too technical to get into why, but essentially, in a previous project where I built another proxy similar to this, I discovered that being able to capture the packets and using them as test cases when developing was very valuable. And so now I've built a proxy to do just that. And while I, don't ca I haven't captured packets yet and generated test cases with them, the proxy does work. And I'm actually going to show you guys that now. We're going to log in. Some of you may be familiar with the term proxy, some of you non-technical people, and you might equate it with something similar to cheating. Um, and it is a tool that you can use to exploit and cheat, and in, in fact it's probably the most advanced tool that you can use to cheat in video games. But I'm not developing it for that purpose. It is strictly, as you can see, to proxy the packets and eventually to write them out into files to use as test cases. And you can see anytime a network packet is sent, we're able to proxy it. You can see as we walk around, we get some packets involved in that. Put down our photon chair. Every time we scoot around, we send a command 60. Command 60 is interesting. Um, if I were to classify command 60 packets, that would be packets that are supposed to be forwarded that have a sub command in them, a sub packet basically. So it's like the payload itself has an additional header and then there's the packet body. I don't know why I'm talking about that now but but basically yeah it works and it is designed to proxy packets and write them out to disk so that they can be used as test cases to speed up development. And as soon as this video is done, I'm going to be going back to work on that so that these packets can be implemented quicker and so that the game and the client itself can be developed faster. So thanks for watching, guys. Sorry that this video is a little bit more technical than I would have liked, but I hope to get back to more interesting features that players can understand a little bit better as soon as I can. But thanks for watching, guys.